Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. <laughs> Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least we know Arrest the momentum. Defend us. Come bring us. At least ten years old. Repair her. She is fantastic. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Or just raring for a fun. There's no turning back now. Remember, you don't want to hurt her.
It's a little too warm if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it up to too much fuss. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Arresto momentum. Off on another adventure, are we? <laughs> 
I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Arrest the momentum. Reynolds, this is a I won't rest. This will be an eye. Couldn't bring up. Defender. No! I've been fighting since before you were born. going well. We make a good team. Do it, that. Once again, we can fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. I shall avenge your death. Arrest the momentum. Sendo. You won't get away with that. Bombarda. Defender. I won't rest. Who you? Dead. You like me? No! Why don't you come up here and fight me? How childish! Confringo! Arrest the momentum! Defender! Confringo! And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. <laughs> Revelio. For worse, we're in. Arrest the momentum. Confringo. Oh, this mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't 
don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Not your best moment, I fear. Oh. Arrest the momentum. Good bring them. Bombard them. Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Wingardium Leviosa. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. That bridge has seen better days. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists all but declared war.
still not seen a single room symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from rooms for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? I won't rest. Certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Revelio. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rooms in this. Arresto momentum. These runes must be connected somehow. Try casting them quickly. Arresto momentum. Wasn't expecting that. There. A journal entry by Isadora. Revelio. It will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? 
Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft? Let's have a look around. Revelio. Confringo. Bombarda. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. <laughs> I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do. But not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. You'll never believe what- What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learnt. Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the Scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. I have thrilling news. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. 
You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Rebellion. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? 
Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp... You may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable... Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this... I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Ah! Stand proud, purebloods! <clears throat> The future is yours. Headmaster? Yeah, what could he want? I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. 
None at all. Move aside. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! Yeah! Master, and he's coming this way. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Professor, mm -hmm. I need to speak to you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Professor Black. Ah! Professor Weasley, how, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that one. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scroop is as hard a worker as any house elf. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. But certainly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? <laughs> Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> of course I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? 
Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Can bring us. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs.
I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. No, no, no. That's the way forward. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? But have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Such power. Defender! Bombarder! Defender, Bombarda, Depulsa. Defender. Depulsa. Defender. Descender. Bombarda. Depulsa. Descender.
Bombard them. Descendo. Defendo. Bombard them. Descendo. Defendo. Descendo. Bombard. Defendo. Defendo. Descendo. Depulsor. ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweetie. Let us always honor. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self.
But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And saw what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of it. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. You are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. 
and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish